Born and raised in LaGrange, Georgia, Ralph Page has spent the majority of his adult life working to help poor rural communities and small family farmers. The seventh of 12 children, he spent much of his youth playing football and swimming and later developed a passion for golf. He met his wife Bernice in a college drama class in 1962 and they were married three years later. Ralph and Bernice have two children, Ralph Bernard and Kenyetta, and two grandchildren, Joshua and Kayla. In 1967, he earned his bachelor's degree in education from Fort Valley State College in Georgia and began teaching and coaching. Two years later, he began graduate studies in education at the University of North Carolina, but by year's end had found his life's work. He began organizing cooperatives as a member of the Federation of Southern Cooperatives field staff. Ralph's impact within this organization was felt immediately. He worked with rural residents to develop agricultural cooperatives and soon helped form both the West Georgia Farmers Cooperative and the East Georgia Farmers Co-op. He also led measures to secure new public and private resources to support this type of development. Within a few years, Ralph became director of the Federation's Business Development Office and during the late 1970s, he directed its VISTA project. This project was one of the largest VISTA projects in the country, involving 110 volunteers at 60 cooperative and credit union sites. Due largely to Ralph's leadership, this project successfully supported community-based economic development and became a model for the future. In 1985, Ralph became the Federation's executive director. Again, he had an immediate impact on the organization, arranging a merger with the Emergency Land Fund and expanding the Federation's mission to include working to halt the precipitous decline in black land ownership. Ralph's outstanding leadership made this a success and helped build the Federation into the primary organization representing black farmers. In addition, he focused the organization on providing decent and affordable housing for the rural poor, as well as access to credit. The numbers speak volumes. More than 200 units of low-income housing have been developed, 75 cooperatives have been started, and 18 community credit unions have been formed under Ralph's guidance. Needless to say, hundreds of people have benefited from these efforts. Ralph also remains true to his roots in education and training, helping to create a rural training and research center in Epps, Alabama, to prepare and support rural leaders as they work to sustain the cooperative efforts in their communities. He also ensured that the plight of rural America, and especially black farmers, was recognized on the national stage by becoming its resounding voice. In fact, he continually uses his own resources and powers of persuasion to ensure that Congress, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and many national organizations consider the needs of rural communities throughout the nation. His efforts have paid off. For example, even as he faced injustices such as blatant racism and extreme economic hardship, he won USDA programs targeted for low-income black farmers, secured soft loans from banks for value-added processing plants and housing in poor areas, and has convinced some of the largest U.S. foundations to support the Federation's important work with charitable donations. He has remained steadfast in his efforts and has succeeded time and time again. In addition, he has become an invaluable asset at board tables throughout the country, serving such organizations as the Nationwide Insurance Enterprise, the National Cooperative Business Association, the Cooperative Development Foundation, and Cooperative Business International. Within these organizations, he is the respected voice of poor rural farmers. Ralph's expertise has become so well known that he was a presidential appointee to USDA's 21st Century Production Agriculture Commission and was named to the Agriculture Policy Advisory Committee for Trade the National Agricultural Research, Extension, Education and Economics Advisory Board, and the World African Forum. He has also received many awards for his untiring work, such as National Co-op Month's Economic Freedom Award, the Congressional Black Caucus's Leadership Award, and their George Collins Rural Agriculture Advocacy Award. 
induction into the George Washington Carver Public Service Hall of Fame, and the Martin Luther King Humanitarian Award. Heading up the Federation has not just been a job for Ralph, rather, it is his passion. He believes wholeheartedly in the Federation's work and consistently goes beyond the call of duty to ensure that its mission is carried out. Helping rural communities, and especially black family farmers, is an integral part of Ralph's life. For 35 years, Ralph Page has put his heart and soul into improving the lives of low-income people across the rural South. There is no question that his efforts have played a central role in the development of better U.S. policies for family farmers, and that he has made an incredible difference for America's rural communities. With his boundless energy and sheer passion, he has inspired people to take action and has helped others reach their dreams through cooperatives. For this, we honor him with induction into the Cooperative Hall of Fame. <laughs>